In under two years, Erling Haaland has gone from relative unknown to the crown prince of world football. The best young player on the planet, right? In 2019, we picked Haaland at number 33 on our next gen list. Needless to say, he had the last laugh. The striker's rise has been meteoric since, winning trophies and smashing a host of scoring records in the process. He's been linked with every big club around, including Champions League finalists, Manchester City and Chelsea. So how has Haaland gone from Norway's best kept secret to Europe's most wanted? This is Level Up, Erling Haaland. When we picked Arnon in 2019, he had just signed for the Austrian champions Red Bull Salzburg. Son of ex-Premier League star and Norway international Alf Inger, Haaland Jr. had been making waves in Norway for his hometown club Brinn and later Molde. Playing under countryman Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, his second season at Molde saw him score 16 goals in 30 games, winning the league's Breakthrough Player of the Year award at just 18 years old. This prompted Salzburg to snap him up in January 2019. He was eased into life in Austria under Marco Rosa at first, making five appearances that season and scoring once. It was the 2019-2020 campaign where he really took off. New coach Jesse Marsh saw Haaland's qualities right away, quickly deciding to build the team around him. It was as if Haaland had been created in a lab, a purpose-built, world-class striker, physically imposing at 6'4", even at just 19 years old. Marsh used Haaland as a focal point in his 4-4-2 setup. Whilst Haaland was effective in the air for Salzburg, it was his pace and intelligent movement that Marsh utilised in a counter-attacking system. Haaland was tasked with drifting out wide to the left in search of space when out of possession, rather than tracking back, then making late, bursting runs into the box to finish moves off. When in possession, Marsh wanted Haaland as close to the goal as possible, in order to make use of his biggest attribute, his clinical finishing. Most of Haaland's goals for Salzburg that season came from inside the box, often one or two touch finishes, exemplified by all three goals he scored on his Champions League debut against Genk. In fact, Haaland became the first teenager to score in five consecutive Champions League matches that season, including goals against European giants Liverpool and Napoli, as well as being the first player to score six goals in his first three Champions League games. By December 2019, Haaland had scored an incredible 28 goals in 22 games. Remember, he was just 19. Wow. In less than a year at the club, Haaland won two Austrian Bundesliga titles, an Austrian Cup and the Austrian Footballer of the Year award. His goal scoring exploits had a host of clubs across Europe circling, including his dad's former club Leeds and Salzburg's sister club Leipzig. It was next-gen favourites Borussia Dortmund who won the race for his signature, signing Haaland in January 2020 and it only took him three minutes to score his first goal for his new club in a barely believable debut appearance. With Dortmund 3-1 down against Augsburg, he came off the bench to win the game with an incredible 23-minute hat-trick. Two more goals were registered as a substitute in his next match against Cologne, winning him the Bundesliga Player of the Month award for January, despite playing less than an hour of football. For Dortmund and Salzburg combined, Haaland finished the season with a phenomenal 44 goals in 40 matches. Soon after, Dortmund replaced Lucien Favre with Eden Terzic. For Haaland though, his transition from Salzburg to Dortmund and then Favre to Terzic was a case of evolution rather than revolution. Under both managers, Haaland has been the lone striker in either a 4-2-3-1, a 4-3-3 or a 3-4-3 formation. Just as at Salzburg, his main responsibility is to finish off moves, but this time with more emphasis on his hold-up play. He drops deep to receive the ball, making use of his imposing size. Haaland will look to receive passes from the defenders or defensive midfielders, popping the ball off to an attacking midfielder to then turn and sprint into the box in order to get on the end of the resulting cross. Again, most of his goals for Dortmund come from close range. A key to Haaland's success up front for Dortmund has been the skills of the players around him. Next-gen heroes Gio Reyna and Jadon Sancho, as well as Julian Brandt and Marco Royce. All of them quick nimble wingers with the ability to take a player on and find Haaland with a cross or a pass. Haaland has improved in his exceptional finishing in Germany, varying his output but also adding more assists to his game. Another remarkable season in terms of numbers, which included a German Cup winner's medal after he scored twice in the final. He also won the prestigious Golden Boy Award as well as being named in the Bundesliga team of the season. And it's not just at club level Haaland has shone either. Rewind back to 2019 and Haaland made global headlines for his nine goals, yes nine goals, for Norway against Honduras in the Under-20 World Cup. Suffice to say, he finished that tournament as the top scorer, adding yet another record to his collection. Since then, he's become the talisman in a gifted Norway generation, which includes next gen alumnus Martin Odegaard. Their sights now are firmly set on qualifying for the 2022 World Cup. That's the journey from next gen to now, and that's how Erling Haaland levelled up. Haaland has the world at his feet and will battle Kylian Mbappe for the title of best player on the planet in the upcoming post Ronaldo Messi era. But with great power comes great responsibility, of course, and Haaland's next move will be a big one, crucial to the next phase of his development. Every big club across Europe has their eyes on him, including the two Classico clubs and the Premier League's Big Six. Where do you think Haaland will end up? 
and can he do it for one of the big boys so soon? Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and keep an eye across goal as we look to see how more of our next in alumni have levelled up. Give me the champagne! Addicted to champagne! <laughs>